One of the hottest topics from the international Jewish community in recent months has been the proposed legislation that will allow Jews who can prove their Sephardic origins to obtain instant Spanish citizenship. After 500 years in exile, JM1 spoke to two people with two very different stories to find out what made them return to Sepharad. Sepharad, which means Spain in Hebrew, was home to thousands of Jews before their exile in 1492, which left the community scattered all around the world. Alejandra Abu Lafia was born in Uruguay, but a childhood filled with her grandmother's references to Sepharad made it inevitable that she would end up in Spain one day. My grandmother was born in Izmir, but she spoke Spanish, Ladino, which we can say is the language that influenced Old Spanish, with Hebrew and Turkish, a little bit of a mixture. But in essence, it is Spanish, and she conserved the language for 500 years after the exile. Today, very few people still speak this archaic form of Spanish, so what remains to unite these people after so much time spent apart? The concept of Sepharad began after the exile in 1492, because before that there were Spanish Jews that lived in Spain or the Kingdom of Castile, as it was called at that moment in history. Some went to Morocco, others to Turkey, others went to Italy, others to Portugal, and from Portugal they later left again and went to Holland. So the definition of the Sephardic tradition depends a lot on where they were. I know a lot of Sephardic Jews from Morocco, and when we compare our traditions, they are very different in a lot of ways. The Sephardic tradition is what they took from Spain, plus the influence of the places where they went. Alejandra's website, Destination Sephardic, is a guide to the Sephardic culture and history, and through her work she is in contact with people interested in the story of Sephardic. This includes people living abroad who cannot physically return to Spain, but remain interested in the story of a once lost community. The United States, Mexico, Latin America, Argentina, in that order, there are Jewish people, Sephardic people, that feel a connection with Sephardic and they want to know things about that history. Of course, Sephardis have been able to enter Spain before this new legislation was proposed, which streamlines a process that aims to set right the infamous Alhambra Decree of 1492. And in a mirror image of events that passed 500 years ago, during the 20th century Spain even became a refuge for some Jews who needed to escape their home countries. I was born in Tetuan, capital of the Protectorate of Morocco in Spain, and I was there until 1967. And due to special circumstances, on the 6th of June in 1967, when the Six Day War started in Israel, the situation became quite unsustainable for the Jewish community. Unfortunately, the situation was getting gradually worse for everybody in the area, and the governor of the city advised the community to not go into the streets for any reason, and that we should stay in our houses at all costs to avoid any confrontations. Poetically, the country that first sent Pinhas's ancestor to Morocco so many years ago was this time ready with open arms to provide his family with the refuge they needed. And the reaction he received from a landlord when he said his family desperately needed a room has stayed with him to this day. His reaction was to call his wife and to tell her, the Virgin Mary has brought us a miracle. Do you remember that this morning we were praying so that we might have some opportunity or possibility to help Israel or the Jewish people around the world in some way? Well, now we have that opportunity, and I have been here since then. We managed to get Spanish nationality immediately on arriving, which was awarded to me, my wife, my children, and my brothers without any problems whatsoever. One of the potential pitfalls of this new legislation could come from having to prove a bloodline going back five centuries. Pienhaus is lucky enough to have items that document his Sephardi heritage, but not everyone will be so lucky. I want to pass on the message so that all my descendants and everyone who might be interested in continuing the Sephardic tradition in the future, they can have it written down. I don't know if everyone who requests Spanish nationality is going to return, is going to come to Spain. I think that a lot of people will do it simply to have it, so that history returns to them what was taken away. The new policy is the result of a long-standing commitment to reconciliation that Spain has held towards the Jewish people in recognition of past errors. 
But whatever their individual motives may be to take up the offer of citizenship, they will all be united by one thing, a feeling towards Spain, a feeling towards Sepharad. This is Paul Walsh for JN1 in Spain.